I've gone out to find some games in the wild. Do you want to come? Come on then. Retro Tech 100. Games in the wild. First charity shop. I had to turn the sound off. They were playing Shania Twain. Don't they know I'm trying to make a video? I found stuff in the charity shop before. I found Samurai Showdown 5 for the PS2. Which is a pretty good find. I still haven't got a PS2 though. Oh, I spy the games. All PS2, obviously. GTA Vice City. I think it was a Call of Duty game here and all, but I wasn't that interested in it. No, nope, nothing else here, apart from Vice City, which is really good. I didn't have this. Let's go and pay for it, I suppose. My daughter decided on opacity instead. £1.35 for that rubbish. I'll stick me £1 game, thanks. I called into my local cash converters again, see if I could pick through those 50p Xbox games, see if there's anything I left. I'm kicking myself now. I ended up putting that back, Headhunter. It's really good on the Dreamcast, only 50p. It was an excellent nick. I must go back next week and see if I can get it. What a lovely day to hunt for games. British Heart Foundation next. I'm really surprised nobody notices this camera on my chest. There I am, in the mirror. That's some good Xbox 360 games here. Bioshock 1 and 2, Diablo 3 and Bioshock Infinite. But I only had two quid left, so I had to pick one. Bioshock Infinite it was. £1.99 each. I'll go back next week and they'll all be gone. And just like that, we're at the car boot sale. Got Don't spend it all at once. Mm. How much is your PS2? 15. Any games? No, I've, just, I've got the controller for it somewhere. I say the games are like for the 360, so. You what? I say how much are the games? Pound like each. Pound, cool. I've got a box here of stuff. This guy was selling a PS2 for 15 quid. Not too bad, but two things I noticed. One, he didn't have the controller and the wires with it. They were in a bag elsewhere, which was true. Also, when I did ask him about the PS2, he was touching his face a lot. A sure sign someone's lying. Or oh, they had an itchy face. I won't pay more than a tenner for a console out of car boot. If it doesn't work, you're never going to see them again. 15 to... 15 quid's too much for a PS2 at the car boot. Plus, I've only got a fiver left. How much are your games? Just a pound. Shall I tell you why they're a pound? Because they're absolutely soaking wet right through. Who's going to buy wet games? I don't care how much they are. The discs have probably been alright, but I don't want to buy wet games. Oh, hold on. I think somebody's noticed the camera. 
Yeah, now we got away with it, I reckon. Oh no, I'm down the coppers. Typical, I've got no bloody change, hold on. That's some original Xbox games over there, I checked earlier, but they're all really knackered. And I had most of them already. There's not a man in the world that doesn't like a big bag of wires. You know when you find the end of a wire that you recognise? I just found one. Yeah. Nothing exciting, just an Xbox 360 power cord, but uh, it isn't going to be much money, so I might as well have got it. I'll continue to rake around for quite some time. Coming up in front of you here is my favourite find of the day. Mm. Not that little telly. Yeah, it's analog signal. So be honest, you're still going to get a signal nowadays because when you switch it over. Mm. But if you know how to do something with it, but the radio works perfect. So about the radio working this morning. Does so it have any work. inputs in the back? I wonder, because I was thinking for maybe older computers and things. Oh, it does. Oh. That's any good. Would you take two pound for it? Because it's like. Shift it if you want it yeah. yeah. Might as well. It's a fun little thing, isn't it? It is. As I say, it's it totally works, because I had it working just this morning. Just never been used. So, Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. I bought a whole television. AV on the back. Look at the size of it. Isn't that cool? I'm not sure if it's black and white or not, but for two pounds I was gonna buy that all day long. Right. Two pounds left. That me little five pound budget. Ugh, let's go and buy some games. I did buy two more games and a console I bought earlier in the week, but my camera ran out of space. So, let's go and see what I got in the games room. Hello, it's me. Let's show you what I picked up. I'll show you what I picked up. First thing was Grand Theft Auto of IC. 99p, first thing I found at the charity shop. Don't have a PS2 yet, but I will get one. Went to another charity shop, and I couldn't find the games initially, but then I found them. Uh, Bioshock Infinite for £1.99. They had um, Diablo 3, and they had Bioshock 1 and 2, but schoolboy error, I ran out of money. So £1.99, it's in really good condition. I played it a little bit on PC, but not very much, so I'm looking forward to playing it. Next thing, I did a video getting this, but I got Link's 2004 for the original Xbox. It was a really good game. Uh, I got it from Games Galaxy, um, if you've seen my previous video, I did a game store tour there um, and it was £2, so I picked it up. Really good game, really good multiplayer. Two more games that you didn't see me get because my SD card ran out of the car boot. Pound each, Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30. I played this a little bit, I played the original and I liked it so I thought I'd get it while it was a pound. I think I had a, a good few other games but they're all a bit knackered. The next game I got was Reckless. I don't remember it being very good. I remember it was an early original Xbox game and the graphics wasn't very good, but I'll give it another crack. It was only a pound, so. Like I say, the guy had more, but they were all mashed up. The next thing I got the cover sell was this. The tiny television. It was three pounds, 
Uh, but I've got it down to two. A little portable black and white telly, I think it'll look really good on the shelf. I'll maybe get a Pong clone. Or use the 3.5mm jack and the Raspberry Pi to output SD. And um, it's got composite yellow and audio out on the back. It works really good. So, £2, that was really good. And the last thing I've got, seeing as I've got all these original Xbox games, just all, maybe, maybe you didn't, maybe you did. A couple of weeks ago, I've got a whole ton of them. I've got an original Xbox. Came with a controller and just needed to clean. I got it from a little shop um, in a little town near me called Crook, 15 quid. I thought, yeah, I'm having that. Actually, I only paid 10 quid for it because that's what I had. I've never been in, I think I've been in there once. I went in there again and he said, you can owe me a five when you come in. So I thought, oh, I better get it while it's here. So 15 quid. And he sold Wii's for 15 quid and a PS2 for 20 quid. So I thought I'd definitely uh, jump on that. So really good, Nick. Played it plenty. I've even had that little TV connected to it. I'll put an image up there now. I hope you like the new camera I use to put on my chest here. Um, I'm going to meld my charity shop finds and my car boot finds now into one video, and it's going to be called Games in the World from now on. And I've tried a few different titles for these videos, but Games in the World I think covers everything. So I'm going to play some Xbox. This has been Retro Tech 100. I'll see you next time.